viewers welcome to my youtube channel today i want to uh, demonstrate how you can pass over stressed uh, beam as you can see here let me show my my 3d view show all objects then um show my 3d so I have run my analysis of this structure here. I am getting failure in some members and uh, beams which should not be passed, should not be failing um, because the span is too small. But no matter how I change the cross section dimensions, these beams are still failing. I have tried to reduce, I have tried to increase the dimension, the depth and the width, they are failing. So how do you pass this beam? So first I will um, go here. I've already run my analysis. Uh, verify all members first. So three concrete frames uh, are failing in design shape, yes. Uh, I will show the selected objects on all. I can show the plan view uh, of my uh, story one apply. Now you can see the members which are failing. As you can see, this uh, beam here has a longer span. This one has a shorter span of just eight feet. This one is about uh, 16.5 feet. So this one no way should be failing because the span is too small. So how do you pass this uh, kind of failure? So there are several options. There are those people who will go and um, uh, change the torsional constant. So some people will change to negative to 0 0.01 and the uh, moment you know that as by ACI code, but I've tried that here in this situation, it was not working. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. And also I've tried uh, playing with the construction area, it is not working. So here it's very simple. Just right click. So you can see it is passing in the top and bottom steel, but it is failing in sheer steel, all right? The only way to solve this problem will be to go to, um, let me show you the details. OS, overstressed, in shear stress, due to shear force and torsional together exceed maximum. But as I, can, I have said, I've tried to, I've used a torsional constant of 0 0.01. I've changed those and moment uh, to, 0 .0, to 0 0.35 based on the ACI code. It's not possible. So I just need to override, change here. I will change to sway it immediate. That is live load reduction part, that is framing type. Then okay. Now you can see, I have no such failure. Because from what I understand, those beams should not be failed. Now if I show you the details, you can see this beam has passed. So I just click okay. Now that uh, red warning disappear, I just do the same thing here. Right click, override. I want uh, sway intermediate. Okay, now it has passed. Okay, the same thing here. Right click, override. I will change here to sway intermediate. Okay. You can see it has passed Then okay. Then that warning has disappeared. Now, if I can show you the 3D. Now let's see uh, fail members. Verify all members first. All concrete frames passed. So that is another way you can uh, change, uh, pass your beams if they are failing. And uh, if you're an engineer, you know uh, that beam, the span is too small. No way, it should be failing. And uh, you can see also, if I can show you, 
the detailing is just uh, it's not that critical. So that's how we do it. Uh, thank you. If you like this video, please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you.